The opportunity for developers in the Web 3.0 space is unlike anything I've ever seen before. You know, blockchain is one of the highest paying fields in tech and becoming a blockchain developer is one of the fastest ways to change your career and earn a top salary, whether you're an experienced developer already or just starting out. And in this video, I'm going to cover an essential piece that you need if you're trying to transition into the Web 3.0 industry. I'm going to talk about this as a blockchain developer who's been on every single side of this problem. You know, somebody who has been a freelancer, worked a regular developer job, and then also now I hire developers to work for me. So before we get into that, you know, if you're around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. All right, so let's talk about this essential piece that you need to land your first blockchain developer job. So I've been thinking about this problem a lot while I've been getting ready for the big blockchain bootcamp version 2.0 launch on this Thursday. Okay, so in case you haven't heard the big announcement, you know, I am relaunching the blockchain bootcamp on this Thursday, July 14th. Yeah, the bootcamp is the fastest way to change your career and break into the blockchain industry in 2022. You know, whether you're an experienced developer already, you're just starting from scratch. This is the exact training that I've used to help thousands of people become real world blockchain developers. And you know, up to this point, I've been so convinced that the blockchain bootcamp is the best training on the market but I've completely outdone myself with the Blockchain Bootcamp version 2.0. So make sure you hold your spot with the link down below today if you want to get access. You know, even if you signed up down there before, you need to make sure you enter your email because you don't want to miss this. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about this essential piece that you need if you're trying to land your first blockchain job. And to tell you the truth, a lot of people completely overlooked this. They they missed this 100%, okay? And I've been thinking about this a lot, like I was saying, while I was getting ready for the Blockchain Bootcamp 2.0 launch. And I've talked about some of these concepts through various videos on my YouTube channel, but I've compiled them all into a step-by-step -step roadmap that I'm going to release for free on my email list ahead of the Blockchain Bootcamp launch. So make sure you sign up with that link down below. But anyways, here's what a lot of people miss. Okay, so the first prerequisite step for, you know, becoming a blockchain developer, of course, is acquiring the skills, right, through guided training. You know, I put out a lot of free tutorials on my YouTube homepage that show you how to do this type of thing. We build a professional project together inside the bootcamp, all right? And then you take that knowledge and you go through this process of unguided development to develop a functional skill of, you know, creating your own projects so that you can actually acquire the skills for yourself and not just follow tutorials, okay? So, you know, once you've got that ready, you're, you're basically ready to start, you know, taking that next step towards getting out into the industry. But a lot of people really don't spend enough time on, you know, trying to market themselves when they're getting into the industry, okay? Because a lot of developers are guilty of just thinking that if they have the coding skills that people are just going to come out of the woodwork uh, to find them and hire them. Now, it's true. The blockchain developers are in insane demand, okay? And if people find out that you're a good blockchain developer, you can get a lot of job offers. But you still need to get in front of other people. And most developers don't spend enough time doing this. Or if they do, they're doing it the wrong way. Okay, so let me talk about the right way. So most people, when they're going to apply for jobs, you know, this is basically what they send. They send this really boring, plain resume site that just talks about their work experience and then maybe they send a link to their GitHub profile or something like that. Like, that's fine. That might work. Okay. But the chances are that most people are going to take one look at this and just like completely glaze over. They might look at a couple of key performance indicators that can determine whether or not they either want to take a, you know, a further look. But this is likely what they're seeing. Like, I'm telling you from this as a perspective of somebody who looks at a lot of different job applications is somebody's probably sitting on the other side just looking at a massive spreadsheet of emails and names and links to like resumes or something else. So instead of your employer seeing something like this, okay, if they see something like this, okay, that completely looks different from that boring white PDF resume, then that's going to be a huge game changer, especially if it jumps out and tells them who you are, okay, and then has a link to where they can see what your projects are, to where, you know, they can actually click through to use them, and they can see the code, because that does so much. A, at number one, it tells them, uh, you know, that you've gone the extra mile. Well, first of all, first of all, it just catches their attention, okay? that That's the huge part. Before you even, you know, think about what it says about you, just the fact that you can capture somebody's attention, uh, and differentiate yourself from these boring white, you know, resumes, that's huge. Okay. So but then once you've got their attention, what does it say about you? Well, it says that you went the extra mile. Okay. It says that you're serious. Um, and then when they can go down here and see your projects, that actually is what displays your competency. Okay. So if you can hook them in uh, to basically clicking through your website, and they can, you know, click through and actually use the application, let's say they got MetaMask installed, and you have a clear message on your app that says something like, you know, please connect to you know, test network here, here's a place to get some free cryptocurrency to use my app and they can they can use it. And they see that it actually works. And they can click through the code on GitHub and see the code that you actually committed to prove that you did it. 
then that's huge. And that's basically what a high converting portfolio site does for you. It helps you stand out from all those other people. Then once you've captured their attention, uh, you know, it, it actually shows your competency and then it helps them want to take the conversation further. And like I was saying before, like while I was thinking about you all, what pain points are you uh, facing when you're trying to break into the blockchain industry? You know, whether you're an experienced developer already, you're just starting from scratch and all the other people that I've helped do this exact same thing. This is one of the major pain points. And so I actually had this uh, portfolio site professionally designed and I'm going to include it as part of the blockchain developer bootcamp 2.0 launch. And one of the reasons I wanted to do that was to have something that would help you just stand out and get that first impression. Because think about it this way, you know, if you have so many things to look at, you have all these, you know, different submissions sitting in a spreadsheet, sometimes it's hundreds of submissions, okay, and they click through to one, what's that one thing that's just going to give you that little extra edge where someone could even, you know, potentially talk to you? Well, it's capturing their attention, okay, and this is going to really help with that. And honestly, you know, like I was saying before, a lot of developers completely skip this step, or they just don't spend enough time with it, or they don't do it right. But I'm telling you, this is one of the highest ROI tasks that you can do. Of course, you need to have the skills, you need to acquire those and create a project. But just this little extra optimization on top can be make or break if you're trying to get your foot in the door somewhere, okay? So a lot of developers, what they're going to do is they're going to maybe create a project and just put the code on GitHub and then they'll just email out a link, okay? And with their GitHub profile, maybe the link to the website and they'll talk about it, but they'll still send in this boring like PDF resume. But this is, I'm telling you, this is going to get lost in somebody's inbox. But I'm telling you, if you go the extra mile, which it, it does not take that much time, especially with something like this, that's basically done for you. All you have to do is customize it, maybe change some settings and add your projects in there. It can be a huge optimization that can make a big difference if you're trying to get your foot in the door. Because, you know, at the end of the day, especially if you're trying to get your first job in the industry, like whether you're an experienced developer already or you just start from scratch, you know, the truth is somebody's going to have to take a chance on you. Because if you don't really have an experience in that specific industry, then somebody has to get a good impression about you that they want to actually make that bet. And doing something like this is really going to move the needle on that. All right, so now let's talk about some potential project ideas that you could add to your portfolio that are really going to help you land the job, okay? So that's what you do right here, where basically you add something where you can click through the website and use it or click through the code and see it on GitHub. So there's a few different ideas here. I mean, one is you could basically just take, you know, a real world step by step project that you've created, like you would build into the blockchain bootcamp and add it to your site. That's the minimum that you would do. And if you can tell someone that, hey, I can create this, OK, then that's like the minimum thing that I would use to show somebody that I had the skills. But let's take it a step further. Now, the easiest thing to do if you're not going to spend like a ton of time, you know, creating something from scratch is just to take a project like that and then build something new on top of it. Because at the end of the day, what you're trying to do is convince somebody that you have a functional skill beyond just following a tutorial. So basically, that means like taking an existing project and then adding a feature that it doesn't already do. So if you're going to build some sort of like cryptocurrency exchange, you can build that exchange and like, you know, maybe support new cryptocurrency trading pairs that aren't on that exchange or you know, maybe you could deploy it to a different, you know, EVM compatible blockchain or add some sort of network selector where you could deploy it to multiple blockchains. OK, or maybe think of a different feature inside the application itself. Like if you can trade tokens now, maybe you could add staking. Maybe you could, you know, have some sort of NFT feature on top of it or just create a new UI feature that doesn't exist yet. That doesn't actually have to change the smart contracts. There's lots of different things you could do that are kind of like low hanging fruit to just add something on top of it where somebody else isn't just holding your hands the entire process. But at the end of the day, the best thing to do is to create something yourself from scratch. OK, I know there's a few different approaches to this. I do you want to think of something that you don't have instructions for and create it from the ground up from start to finish with no code on your computer all the way to having the code, writing the test for it, creating a site for it, putting it out there on the blockchain, putting it out there on the web. Now, you could do a couple of different things. You could create a blockchain-based version of something uh, that exists right now, Web 2.0, okay? Like a blockchain-based blog or a blockchain-based social media account, okay? Now, those things are just going to show that you have the competency with the programming languages, but they're not necessarily going to be like viable blockchain applications. And that's okay, okay? It doesn't really matter. But if you want to take the next step and then show people that you can create something that actually makes sense on blockchain, then I highly recommend creating something like a decentralized finance application or an NFT application that shows that you understand the real world blockchain use cases that people use right now, you know, your real world project, and then code that out and put that out there on the blockchain and use it for your portfolio. That's going to be the absolute perfect combination of all these things because it shows people that you have the functional skills, okay? that you also understand what works in blockchain. And then you take that, you put it out there on the web where people can use it. You add it to a portfolio site just like this. Okay, we can click through the site, click through and see the code. And then that's going to make you stand out like crazy from you know, other people. Because I'm telling you, if, if, if they go through and they see this, that's like, you know, way less likely. But if they see this, click through, 
All right, they instantly get a good first impression by seeing this. And the first thing they scroll down to here is like a DeFi application that you coded from scratch. And they can just instantly like click through and use it and look at the code and see that you have a sophisticated understanding of not only the coding skills, but also how blockchain is supposed to work. That's going to move the needle and get you way up higher in the, in the ranks for those hiring conversations than if you just like, you know, created something random and put it on your GitHub and then email that a PDF resume and then just got lost like this. So portfolio definitely matters. All right. And developers don't really spend enough time on it. Okay. Like I said, you know, blockchain is super high in demand and, you know, just people knowing that you're a blockchain developer is a huge benefit in the first place. But if you're just starting out, you're just trying to break into the industry and you don't have that workplace experience, somebody does have to take a chance on you. And this is how you increase the likelihood that somebody is going to do that. First, by catching their attention, by standing out with a site like this. All right. And then having some sort of portfolio project in there that under that shows your competency and then shows that you actually understand the space as well. And really, a lot of people just overlook this, but it's equally as important as your coding skills because you have to have the coding skills. But if no one knows that you have them and that you can actually do a good job, then it doesn't even matter in the first place. And like I was saying before, I was thinking about this so much as I was thinking about you all and how to solve that pain point that a lot of you are experiencing that I've helped lots of other people get through and change their careers and become real world blockchain developers. So if you want to do that, then definitely make sure you hold your spot with the link down below for the blockchain bootcamp version 2.0 launch this Thursday. Again, it's the fastest way to change your career and become a blockchain developer in 2022. It's the exact system that I've used to help so many people do exactly that. Okay. So as always, make sure you smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps this video out so that more people can learn about blockchain. And until next time, thanks for watching Dappy Diversity.